Hello and welcome to today's myminimaths.co.uk video tutorial. And today we're going to be subtracting two four digit numbers, but we're also going to be looking at how we borrow from a column which has zero and no value inside it. So on to question one, which is 4,364. And we are subtracting 2,277. So again, making sure that we have everything lined up in the correct mm. columns. We're onto the units to begin with. So four units subtracts, subtract seven units. We can't do it, the seven is too big. So we need to borrow one from the tens column. So we bring the 10 over to make the 14, and we only have, of course, the five tens remaining from the six. So here, 14 take away seven gives us seven. Coming over to the tens column, five subtract seven. Again, we can't do it, so we just move over to the next column, the hundreds, and we borrow a hundred, meaning we only have 200 left in the hundreds column, and bring in the hundred over to the tens, so we've got 15 tens. Subtract the seven tens to give us eight tens, 80. Then over to the hundreds, we have 200. Subtract 200 to give us nothing, no hundreds remaining at all. And finally, in the thousands column, we have 4,000. Sub subtract 2,000 to give us 2,000 for a final answer of 2,087. And next we're on to question two, which is 6,000. 475, and we're going to subtract 2,782. Now, first of all, our units column. So five subtract two gives us three, nice and easy. Then we have the tens column. We have seven tens subtract eight tens, which we can't do. So we need to borrow from the hundreds column next door. So we have now have three hundreds and bring that hundred over. So we have 17 tens. Subtract the eight tens to give us nine tens. And then looking at the hundreds, we have 300 subtract 700, which we can't do. So we need to borrow again from the thousands column. So we're gonna borrow from one of the six thousands. So it's now 5,000 and bring it over to the hundreds column. So we have 13 hundreds Subtract the 700 to give us 600. And then finally, 5,000 subtract 2,000 to give us 3,000. For a final answer of 3,693. And next we're on to question three, which is 9,352. And we are subtracting 4,433. So starting in the units column, two subtract three, we can't do. So we're gonna borrow from the tens, the next column. So I borrowed one of those tens and brought it over to the units column. So now I have 12 subtract three, which is nine units. Then back over to the tens, we have four tens subtract three tens, which is a single 10 onto the hundreds column. 300 subtract 400, we can't do, so we need to borrow from the thousands column. 13 hundreds subtract 400 gives us 900. And finally, we have 8,000 subtract 4,000 to give us 4,000. For a final answer of 4,919. And finally, we're on question four, which is 4,045. And we're gonna subtract 2,365. Okay, as we before, five units subtract five units, nothing. Then we're onto the tens column. We've got four tens subtract six tens, so 40 subtract 60, which we can't do. Now, we're going to move over to the next column, into the hundreds, and there's nothing there. Doesn't matter. We just move again over to the 
thousands column. We just keep moving until there is something that we can borrow. So we're going to borrow a thousand, which means it's now three thousand. Now this is the key point. Only ever, when you borrow, you only ever move it back one column at a time. You can't go all the way back to the tens column. You need to take it back to the hundreds first. Then we can borrow from the ten, which is now a nine, and bring it back to that tens. So we have 14 tens, subtract six tens for eight tens. Then we have the 900, subtract the 300 for 600. And then finally, 3,000, subtract 2,000 for 1,000. For a final answer of 1,680. So the key point to remember there, when you need to borrow, but there's a zero in the next column, you just move on to the next column, borrow one from there, but only ever bring it back one column, one step at a time. Okay, thank you very much for listening today. I look forward to speaking to you again soon. Take care.